Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to send your form submission and files to your server. In this case, we're going to use the FTP integration. So what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to use a popular server panel, which is called cPanel, to grab the FTP details so we can use these on the FTP integration. That way, it's going to automatically send the files when the form submission is created on your Jot form. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form so you know how to get started from zero. So let's go into create a form. We're going to select start from scratch. Again, you can use template or import a form. And in this case, we're going to select classic form, but you can use card form also. So this will open up the job form builder. Let's drag in some basic elements for our form before we start the integration. So let's click on add form elements and we'll add the name, the email. We'll be asking for a file upload. And we're good to go with those. You can add more elements if you wish, but in this case, we'll just keep it simple. Now let's head on over to settings. Let's go into integrations and we're going to search for FTP. Let's go ahead and click on it. And it's going to ask us for our host details. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to use cPanel and I'm going to show you how to create a brand new user so you can send those files to there. So this is my cPanel and what we're going to do is search for FTP accounts. In this case, this is the icon that you're looking for FTP accounts in cPanel. This could be different depending on the type of panel that you're using. Now, the location of FTP accounts might be on the bottom top. It just depends where you have it at this moment. So we can drag and drop this. Let's go ahead and select FTP accounts. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new account. This way, you know how to do it from zero on cPanel. So the login for this one, we'll call it jot form. The domain, it's going to be the domain that you have. So you send those to your server and we're going to create a password for this. So in this case, I created a password that I can remember for this purpose. And let's create the account. Now the account has been created and we have the details available. We can click on configure FTP account. Now we have the username, the server and the port that we need. So let's go ahead and grab the username. Let's go back to our job form. And we're going to put our username right here. And the password that we're going to use right here is the one from our FTP account, not your job form password. And then we have the FTP host. OK, let's grab it from the username that we created. Now, sometimes the FTP server that is available here is not going to work as a host. Sometimes you will need the IP from your hosting account. So let's go into cPanel's main panel and I'm going to grab the IP from here. Let's paste it here and we're going to authenticate. If, there, if everything's fine, you're going to able to view this right now. Do we want to send this to a subfolder and not the main folder? In this case, yes, we're going to send everything to Jotform folder and we can add another folder if we like. But in this case, we'll keep it there. All right. Now, create a subfolder for each submission. If you'd like to do that, then yes, click on that. And if you want to store everything inside of that folder already, jot form, then it's good to go. If not, it's going to create a new folder for each submission. Now, the subfolder for this is going to be called submission ID, name or email. These are the field elements that we have added from our form. If we have more elements, we are asked for more options here. In this case, we're going to use the email for this one. All right. So each folder that's created is going to use the email so we can later find it easily. All right. Send submission PDF. Yes. Do you want to send the upload fields to send to your server? Select all or file uploads. In this case, we want to send the submission plus the file upload. If we don't want to send the file upload, we uncheck it. So in this case, we'll keep it on because we do want to send that file. Let's go ahead and save it. Now we're integrated with the FTP. So when someone fills out that submission, it's going to send that form submission and the file upload to our FTP account server, right? So in this case, if you want to edit what you just did, we'll click on FTP again. We can edit the integration in case you need to update something. But in this case, we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and go into publish. 
We're gonna open in a new tab. This is the form, this could be anyone filling it out. But before I do that, I want to show you where you could find these files in cPanel. So let me open up cPanel. And we're gonna go into File Manager. So this is my file manager. And remember we selected this domain and then this folder. So after this folder, there's .form, which we created, but there's nothing going on here. But once we fill out the form on John form, it's going to create that folder that we just did when we created that integration. So let's go into the form. Let's go ahead and fill it out. All right, let's upload a file and I'll just select something random here. I'll select this guy. All right. And we are it's 4.4 megabytes. So that's a pretty big image. And I'm going to add an email. So I'll just say test at test.com and I'm going to submit it. So in this case, it's going to start submitting this form. I will have the submission on job form. Plus it's going to send the submission to my server, which is the FTP account that I just connected. So let's give it a few minutes because it's a big file and it's going to send it to our FTP account. Okay. It's just been submitted. Now let's go into our file manager where I just presented this and we're going to reload. So let's go ahead and reload it. And boom, it just created a brand new folder. So let's open the form folder. Here's the email that we selected as the file name. Remember, we could change this to the submission ID or to the name, whatever you need to find it easily. In this case, I think email is a really good way to find it. So let's go ahead and open it. And here is the file that we've just created 4.44 megabytes which is uploaded right now. We can download it from here or just keep it stored for later on. That is how you would integrate your FTP account. Now, like I mentioned before, if you need to edit this integration, just go back to settings, integrations, FTP and edit again. And if you want to change the folder or change the folder name when it's created each time, we can update it here. If you feel that name is the better way to go, then you can change it. Or if you have more elements, like I mentioned, you can select another element and use that as the name. So you can find it later on really easily. And if you need to upload more things from the elements that you have available, you will find them here and you can tick them on or tick them off. Well, that is how you integrate JotForm with FTP to send your form submission files to your server. Well, I thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.